In small town Quebec, villages huddle around the church. Everyone knows everyone else. The city seems far away. But in Aeroville in 2007, council passed a so-called code of life, telling potential immigrants they were welcome, but some of their cultural and religious practices were not. This man helped write the code. In Aeroville, women have the right to drive a car. You know that in some, some countries, uh, women don't have that right. And you probably do know now that in Canada, some people had asked for a taxi driver not to be women. Criticized and mocked at the time, that code nonetheless helped inspire Quebec's proposed secular charter, which bans public servants from wearing religious symbols like hijabs and turbans. Quebec's government is defending the proposal. Opposing political parties say it goes too far. From a tiny village to an entire province, what some see as necessary secularism and others as latent xenophobia is now being debated on the campaign trail. In multicultural Montreal, the Values Charter and the election are hot topics on Arabic-language radio host Zaina Karam's morning show. Her listeners both support and oppose the Charter and intend to cast their votes accordingly. It's a very divisive issue depending on your views and your religion, but people do say they're going to get out there and vote, and that's a good thing. The other big issue is the long-held policy of the governing Parti Québécois to declare independence from Canada. Fears of economic and social disruption arose early in the campaign when a star candidate and media magnate said he was running to make Quebec a country. Faire du Québec un pays. What was supposed to energize the separatists boosted the pro-Canada opposition Liberal Party instead. Despite a rookie leader and a reputation for corrupt governance in the past, the Liberals have led pre-election opinion polls for weeks. People want a good government. They want uh, a government that's going to create jobs. And economics or finan the financial situation is probably the most important thing as we speak. As an often divisive and angry campaign ends, it's up to the voters now to decide on Quebec's next government and with it, the future of the secular charter and relations with the rest of Canada. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Montreal.